core of our technology. Everyone keeps asking, what's that magic sauce? What's that magic technology? Where does it go? Well, I think I'm going to disappoint you all. I'm simply going to tell you the core of our technology simply is sand. Available in plenty in multiple continents in ocean beaches. This sand, from this sand you get zirconium oxide, something that we use. Again, affordable, available in plenty. And it has a particular property, a scientific property, that allows us to make a fuel cell. Again, folks, 1980s patent. We didn't have to invent this. Credit to Walter Nernst. What we did with that, though, is we perfected the technology to create what I want to introduce to you, the Bloom Energy Fuel Cell. A flat piece of sand, flat piece of sand, inexpensive materials, but this is the core of the technology. Well, fuel cells have been around for a long time, things have been done. What is all this about? Why is this so different? We take this material and convert it into this starting with raw powders, with inexpensive manufacturing techniques. And we call that process powder to power. Powder to power for flat pieces of sand. This particular device, way back, John, you remember, we know you remember, five watts. There's a Moore's law equivalent. I don't know what that is yet. We will tell you in a few years. Today, it produces 25 watts, enough for a light bulb. Two years from now, stay tuned. Okay? So you take a bunch of these together, and you put them together in what we call a stack. Think of this as the chip in your computer. If this were the microprocessor in your computer, this would power an average US home. 24-7, 365, all your energy needs. Average US home. So you take a bunch of these stacks, put them together in a box about the size of a refrigerator, and that's enough to power a small Starbucks coffee shop. You take four of those 25 kilowatts together and put them in a box, affectionately called the Bloom Box now, about the size of a parking lot. We would prefer you call it the Bloom Energy Server, uh, about the size of a parking space. And that can power a small supermarket. You need more power? You do exactly what you do in a data center. You have multiple servers, and as your computing need increases, you keep adding the servers. You just cluster them. You just cluster our boxes to add to the power that you need to meet your energy needs. Modular, pay as you grow, buy as you grow. It is with great pride on on their behalf, the entire Bloom family's behalf, I would like to introduce to you the Bloom Energy Server. 